This is Daily Gold. Let us begin. Okay, so today we have done the Utgard Pinnacle, the literal Utgard Pinnacle, not the one I stated the other day, which was technically Utgard Keep. However, we have gone and done that one, so just to clarify, Utgard Pinnacle, the proper one today. That being said, when it comes towards Utgard Pinnacle, when it comes towards this dungeon, you'll have to actually beeline it through some of these bosses, otherwise it will trigger some RP events which you can't really get out of very easily. And as such, with the first boss, you're gonna have to beeline it past. With the only one you cannot literally get out of is the Skeddy, the Ruthless one. This is the one where you grab your harpoons and you have to shoot them out of the sky three times with the harpoons. It doesn't take that long in order to actually do, however it's just a little bit annoying and tedious when you're actually just beelining it through slaying all of the mobs. In that regard, there are a few no key no items that you actually get from this, so that's not too bad. And all in all, it's a very, very short run as it only really took me around about 30 odd minutes in order to actually complete. The last boss of the actual dungeon I do actually take out because there is a few pack of mobs right in front of him. So if you actually do pull them, it will pull him as well. So yeah, and that being said, you do not need to actually use your Dreamwalk ability to jump in and out of the instance. You can actually just slay the last boss and it will open the door back to the beginning again. You can just run out and reset the instance, which is very handy when you're actually running dungeons as it will lead you essentially back to the beginning again. That being said, let's get into the results. Jumping in towards everything and going in towards worth it, we can actually have a nice little mosey over towards all of this. And I'm gonna use my search function for this. And we can see that the Utgard Keep from the other day, which I did mess up on, however, Utgard Pinnacle came in at 43,881 gold. This is probably because there's a lot less mobs in this actual specific dungeon, but I did get quite a variety of different types of greens. However, we got the bold concealing breastplate, that one, 39 gold on my server, but it has a region market average of 533 gold, and the Tundra Wolf Boots, 1,837 gold, but a region market average of 2,645 gold. That being said, I did actually get the Berserkers Sabatons, they sell for 2,000 gold on my server, or a region market average of 3,677 gold. All in all, actually added up quite nicely. However, I'm not too keen on the gold value, but 43,000 gold, still 43,000 gold. So let's jump in towards my auction house to actually have a look at this. So if we go up towards Utgard Pinnacle and we actually select the group, we can see that it actually on my server after posting came up to 31,720 gold. Not too bad, there is a couple of items that do have a decent amount of gold. Some of them aren't, like the Wolvar shoulder guards. Those ones are going for about 3,000 gold on my server. Close to 4,000 gold, actually. The Tundra Wolf boots, like always, and just own a rare different items over 1,000 gold or a little bit higher. There is one for 6,000 gold, which is the Ice Splitting Axe. And that one's 6,610 gold. All in all, if we go in towards everything before my auction's reset, I have over 2 million gold worth of value on the auction house, so that's pretty dang good. And a total items of 860 gold. Not too bad to say so myself. That being said, if we jump in towards everything else and we go in towards our mailbox, we can see that we have a total value of 5,283 gold. Not too bad. And the keynote items was the Nether Steel Claymore. We sold that for 2,850 gold. The Buccaneer's Vest, 902 gold. That was from the previous day. Haha. <laughs> But also we sold the Primal Shadow that we were actually selling, 480 gold for three of those, so not too bad. 5,283 gold in total, bring that in, that brings us up to a nice little amount of 238,370 gold. All in all, not too bad, we go in towards TSM, we can have a look at the nice little graph, it's a nice little uptick, however, we do really want one of those bigger sales, so at the moment, Nomergan has paid off 
better than anything else thus far if we can see that just massive spike so that being said with everything I'm gonna have to get back to actually working on gathering up more data and if we go in towards everything else with the gold makers data sheet do, 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 we've got quite a few different types of item uh, farms to actually do I really am going to go do Ankhet as the next video obviously I take Sundays off to compile and just literally have a day off so that being said I will be doing that so no video tomorrow but there will be one the following day all in all looking forward to it Ankhet I probably will just post results in the discord tomorrow because I probably will farm it regardless but I just won't be doing a video on it however that being said looking at the data that was actually farmed previous by some of the other users dang it's looking good so I'm very much looking forward to doing that other than that if you want the worth it beta I will be doing some compiling tomorrow and then shoving that and updating that on the patreon as long as well as if you want the data sheet then that one is available on the discord under info there is no restrictions for that that you can literally just grab it and have a look yourself so to round all that up have an awesome rest of your day and i shall see you in the next video which will be soon mm -hmm.